Lick number 30, Speedy's Blues. This lick is from Speedy Haworth, who's a house guitar player with the uh, Ozark Jubilee Show. Um, in this lick, it's over a really unorthodox blues form, which we'll talk about um, after we do the performance. But uh, the reason I chose this lick is because it shows off how you could use simple triad shapes to make a more lush sound harmonically. So he's using simple minor triad shapes and diminished triad shapes to get all the uh, upper extensions of a chord like the nines and the thirteens and all that stuff. So let's bring up a track and play it and then we'll talk about it. So let's take a look at what Speedy is doing over this um, kind of bizarre blues form. Um, first, let's talk about the form of, uh, of this tune here. So it's in G, but it starts on A flat dominant seven. And we have five beats of that, which is a little weird. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we go to our four chord. Then to an F six chord. Back to the one. Okay, now we have a major two five turnaround. Okay, and then we have a, another turnaround to get us to the top of the form. E flat nine to D nine. And that takes us back to the uh, beginning of the song there, which is an A flat dominant seven. So what he's doing here is he's using pretty simple triad shapes um, a lot that you, you know, are familiar with and you know, um, to get some of the extensions to come out of these chords. So this looks like an E flat minor triad, but against that A flat dominant seven chord, it sounds as the fifth flat seven and the nine. And so we're doing a pickup in G to it. And then we're immediately going to A flat. And then when a chord goes to G, we're just going to slide this down a half step to G. And that's the fifth flat seven and nine of G. And now we're going to go into the four chord, come back to that little uh, melodic hook there. And then this is a diminished triad, but in C it's sounding as the flat seven, the third, and the fifth. Now slide that up. Now what's going on there? This is over the F. Um, and this little cluster of notes is called stacked force or force and it's a really cool way to kind of comp through changes um, against the F that's sounding as the major seven the third and the six and when we bring it down a whole step it's the six nine fifth so there's your F six nine chord Okay, and then we're going to be back to G. And this is over a G6 chord, so I'm using what looks like a uh, uh, E minor triad, uh, but it's sounding as the sixth root and third in G. And I keep doing this little uh, approach note to the third and kind of coming back to the open E string. We got that little bend into the flat three. Back and forth between the root and six. Okay, just a little bluesy like to end it. Now for E flat nine to D nine. Some of you may be familiar with those shapes, some may not. That's a half diminished shape. But what that's doing in this context is it's giving us our third flat seven, nine, and fifth of E flat. 
okay? And if we lower to half step, we get a D9. So these are nice because the bass player's got the root covered, so you don't need to cover the root there. You could just kind of play these inversions. All right, so let's do this all together, and I'll just do it nice and slow so you can kind of hear it. Um, 